So another report has surfaced about a damaged RTX 5080 graphics card. So not a 5090, but a 5080. Oh boy. This time involving a melted power connector on the power supply side. Let's jump into this now. So the Reddit user here noticed a red warning light come on on their RTX 5080 video card indicating a potential cable issue. While reseeding the car temporarily resolved the light issue and it went out, I guess, it caused the GPU to operate at PCI Express Gen 3 speeds. That's not good. Significantly reducing the performance. Yeah, no kidding. And that's another one of these 12 VHPWR connectors. And that's the same one that had the problems when it's connected to the 5090 video card. The cable itself was melting and it looks like that is what actually happened here as well but to an rtx 5080 which is a little troubling because this does not pull as much power as a 5090 so this incident while it's not as severe as the previous rtx 5090 connector meltdowns raises further concerns yes it does about the potential design flaw in the 50 series video cards and some people will say this has nothing to do with the connector design on the 50 series video cards it has everything to do with the cables not the design so there's two kind of thoughts on this and you can read through some of the comments down here as well some of them are quite entertaining but yeah i mean it would have been nice though to have more connectors maybe especially on the 5090 instead of just having one maybe two or even three i know you want to make it look pretty but there's form and then there's function, right? And I did a video a while back about how it reached 150 degrees Celsius. Now that is on the power supply side, but still that limit is too high and it's definitely going to melt the cables or even worse, it will melt the cable and catch the computer on fire. And well, you know, the rest, uh, you can use your imagination. So really, these connectors, the design itself and its ability to handle high current demands for these high-end GPUs are definitely being questioned. One person here suggests that the 12-pin standard itself is the problem. It's unbalanced current distribution and inadequate cable diameter is not going to work for all this high amperage they suggest a return to multiple eight pin connectors yes yes and more yes just build these things like nvidia's server cards and then you wouldn't have a problem and this is really unfortunate because a lot of people want to go out and pick up an nvidia video card and maybe now you want to pick up an nvidia rtx 50 series card but then there's all of these problems. Now, maybe the 5070s and the 5060s, because they draw less power, will not at least have problems like this. But still, some people want a 5080 or a 5090. But why would you go out and pick up a card knowing that more than likely your cable is going to melt? You probably wouldn't. And then you might go somewhere else. Although if you're looking at high-end gaming video cards, there isn't really anywhere else to go. So you're kind of stuck.